we go, folks. Um, today, I thought I would share with you this lovely old vintage Yale padlock. And what's different about it? There we go. What's different about this? Oh, sorry. It's got a seven and a half mil shackle, and the body's about forty-five mil wide. Um, and like I say, this has got wafers in it. If it will focus, as you can see. I'll just uh, got these little gates up here. Look, I think it's got five. And what's different about this is you'd expect all the mechanism to be in here, but it's actually up here. Now yeah, it's got a spring loaded core, so it's got a bit of a spring back to it, quite a good spring. I'm going to use this uh, custom pick from Papa Smurf, which he kindly gifted to me years ago now. And uh, yeah, it doesn't have a key. I have tried um, all of these wafer jigglers, but none of them work. I have picked one of these on the videos uh, before. It was kindly lent to me by Rob Lawn. I can't remember which video it was. I'll see if I can find it and put a link down to that below, but I had trouble picking that one. So that was for a giveaway, I think. Probably one of Dean Max. I'll have a look, see if I can find it. So, we'll uh, see if we can get into this today. Because it does need picking, seeing as the jigglers don't work. Like I say, there's no key. So, we'll see how we get on. So, uh, yeah, something different. Not all wafer locks are easy. They are if they fall open, obviously, but this one is uh, it's a bit gunked up. There we go. There, we got it. So, yeah, that's it for today. Lovely old vintage owl padlock with wafers. So, yeah, thanks ever so much for joining me. Until next time, take care, everyone. Bye-bye for now.